Hey everyone! So it's about that time again. I want to go through my craft board and find something to make. Uh, I think I want to make some type of jewelry. So I'll be going through my jewelry supply today. So let's get started. Okay, let's see. My messy, messy marker collection and whatnot. Uh, I think I, yep, some ribbon. Got some ribbon right here. That's not in focus, yeah. So I think that'll work. I also have this fabric I got for another project. Okay, and then to my jewelry. Dun, dun, dun. Um, these are just like ends and whatnot. So of course I need those. Continue looking. Oh, these are what I wanted. I thought that I would make some ribbon style chokers. I found these ribbon clamps, some ribbon, some extra velvet fabric, lobster clasps, and jump rings. So first, there's the super easy and quick version. You need ribbon that's wide enough for these clamps, and then cut it down to your neck size minus about 3 fourths of an inch to account for the lobster clasp and jump ring. If you really want to be precise about it, you can measure your clasp and ring and subtract that exact amount, but 3 fourths of an inch is generally a good place to start. Slip one end of the ribbon into the clamp and use your pliers to crimp it down. I was using these little jewelry pliers at first, but you'll see me switch to a different pair of pliers later because they are much easier to work with. Give them a little tug to make sure the ribbon is secure. If you're really having trouble keeping the ribbon in place, you can probably use a bit of super glue or something in the clamp to help secure it before you clamp it down. If you want, you can add a bead or a pendant to the ribbon before you add on the second clamp. But I wanted to keep it simple, so I opted not to do this. Attach the clamp to the other side. Add your lobster clasp to one side and the jump ring to the other, and then you're done. I also wanted to make a version using some velvet fabric that I had laying around. I bought this for an upcoming project that you guys will be seeing soon. I had a little bit left over and I wanted to do a velvet version of this choker, so this stuff was perfect. I'm pretty sure they sell velvet ribbon that you could just get and do the steps from the first half of this video, but since this is a craft cord video, I didn't want to go out and buy anything, and I already had velvet fabric, so that's what I used. Also, I figured this may be helpful for people who want to use any other kind of fabric that doesn't come in ribbon form. Anyway, cut a piece at least as long as your neck by double the size of the ribbon clamp plus half an inch. Pin it in half, right sides together, and sew up the edge with a 1 4th inch seam allowance. To flip it right side out, attach a big safety pin onto one edge and then slip the safety pin into the tube of fabric. You can then work it down the tube and out the other end. Pull it all the way and it should turn right side out. Cut it down to be your neck size, minus 3 fourths of an inch, just like last time. Position the seam into the middle and then attach your ribbon clamps on either side. Add the jump ring and lobster clasp and then you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. Thank you to my patrons for helping me produce this video. Your patronage really helps me continue to put out videos every single week so that everybody can enjoy them. So thank you so much. If you're interested in becoming a patron, I'll leave a link up here and you can go check mine out. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, and Twitch and I'll leave the information to those down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week.